Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 Bandit Thieves. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and in this episode, we are going to jump right out into the reins as Murray, and we're going to go and complete Operation High Road, save... Well, Sly was trying to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him. But we're going to try to save Carmelita Fox, we're going to try to get those clockwork eyes, and, uh... I don't know why I'm using the word try, we're going to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So this is insanely badass. We're paragliding onto a blimp. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. See, it could get rough, but we're Sly Cooper, and it's not gonna get tough because we can do what we want. All right, let's head for the re-education tower. Mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Alright, so we have more hacking. And if you remember from when we were doing the hacking earlier, it was nowhere near as intense as this is. Just listen to the music. That's crazy. What a tempo. What a tempo. So, uh, while I'm talking about this, I know that um, throughout this chapter, the last like two or three episodes, I've made little uh, comments about the, um, the quality of the video, you know, the colors and everything. And I think I finally figured out, you know, my perfect blend, my per perfect combo. I think this is good. Um, I actually found out that while you were, like, you can actually set it so that you record things brighter and with more color saturation. So that's what I did. I increased the color saturation a little bit, so hopefully the colors are a little bit more clear. And I also made the brightness a little bit better because I know that even if the colors were, you know, very highly saturated, it may, it may still be kind of difficult to, uh, see. So, there we go. Isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! How did you miss, and why didn't you just shoot her when you had the chance? That Carmelita, always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. 
Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, when should be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It, this wasn't in the plan! It's okay, Bentley. Sometimes things go astray, but we got it. But, something very interesting, the bird, I think that that's safe to assume that that is a reference to Arpeggio, who we saw in Chapter 2. But what does Arpeggio need with... What is, what, is, what does Arpeggio need with the clockwork eyes? What is he going to do? Oh, no, what? She, I could see her. How did, what are you talking about? I already got away. Now, if I remember correctly, this it can be a kind of annoying mission. And a lot of the reason why it might be annoying to you is because of the fact that it's not exactly the easiest mission in the world on your first few attempts. Just because you may not know exactly where Neela is going to be heading to. And that makes for some sticky situations. Um... But I don't find it to be, like, super, super hard once you, like, know exactly where Neela plans on going. Just try to stay close. Like, just always make sure that you can see where Neela is at all times. And then and then the mission's pretty easy. But if you lose track of Neela, um, like, it, I don't know. This it's They're pretty harsh in this mission. They, they make you fail pretty quickly. So... And when you get to the apex of your jump, automatically paraglide, it's just a smarter way to uh, approach the mission. Um, and, and, I mean, I said stay close, but don't stay too close because she's going to attempt to, um, you know, uh, <laughs> cut your head off and blow you up with a barrel, so just uh, watch out. Um, and I don't think you can actually, like, attack, attack her. Yeah, I mean, my cane's not doing anything, so you pretty much just need to follow. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. So, this is, uh... At this point, I think we've seen almost every type of... Well, I mean, there is actually one mission that's going to be coming up that I know of. But we've seen almost every single type of mission in the game. And you should know at this point how to work the turrets in this game. You know, you should have a good feel as to what their controls are like. You should know that you'll overheat if you use it too often. And honestly, they're not too bad, um, you know, to take down. They only take a few hits. Um... But make sure that you don't take too many hits, because I feel like that's where the major problem is going to come in. Um, I'm so glad that I have splitter cables, though, because I'm pretty sure that this mission would have been absolutely impossible had I been playing on a delay. Oh, man, and I keep on missing the planes that are, like, right in front of me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're relatively easy to take down. But just watch out for the ones that are going to be right in front of you. Like, these, those seem to be the ones that keep on getting me. But we only have two more left. And then we're, you know, safe. And Bentley doesn't have to worry. Where is that last one? Here, there you are. And we did it with on our first try. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you! Merciful Hades, Sly, can you read me? A carbolita shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate! I'm going down! 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 That I 
it belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. I'm trying to think of what nationality the Contessa would be. I cannot figure it out for the life of me. But the Contessa um, is pretty intimidating at first, but uh, it's pretty easy to dodge, I, I feel. Um, and you can really lay into the Contessa uh, like a bunch. Um, the little, like, egg babies are not really going to be much of a problem or a threat at all. In fact, I would recommend killing them because they'll give you health. Um, and like I said, it, it, Contessa is definitely not the hardest boss in this game by any stretch of the imagination. Pretty easy to sidestep, pretty easy to lay into, and if you get hit, you know, these egg babies are so easy to kill. It's such an easy refill of health. So you should really have almost no problem with the Contessa if you've made it to this point in the game, which obviously you would have had to to face the Contessa, so it's already done. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. And just when you think that we were done with this tank stuff, and you when you were done with the mission for, you know, to begin with, you get to play more of it. Um, this time, however, uh, this is a pretty straightforward one. Um, uh, the tank isn't going to lose too much too much health. You can pretty much run over all the standard enemies. But, like, your goal is to try to, uh, you know, attack Carmelita. But she rarely stops. So you kind of have to get her on, you know, the, while she's on the run. Um, and you can see the clockwork eyes right there. So we do not want her to really get away. Uh, but it's but the controls of this tank are so awful. I know I was saying it in the other episode where my mic was being weird, but oh man, the the controls on this are really are um awful. Yeah, and now I'm going backwards. That's not what I wanted. But as long as you don't like I uh, I think you really really have to get far behind to lose uh where Carmelita is. But there's not really much to say. You just need to, like, move quickly. And also, while you're moving quickly, try to attack her. Keep on shelling her to stop that tank. But it's, it's hard to shell her, Bentley. Much harder than, than you would think. Uh, no, 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 no. Damn it. See, she got away. And the littlest screw-up is going to set you back. Uh, thankfully, only set you back to the beginning of whatever section you are, because that would really suck if you had to start the whole operation again, although that would take way too long. And for someone who doesn't really know how to drive a tank, she's quite good at it. She moves pretty quickly. Alright, so take two on this painfully awfully controlled mission you can get a lot of early shots in at the beginning if you're you know quick enough 
And I feel like you move move fastest when you are uh yeah, I feel like you move fastest when you're going uh, straight, so. Ah, I missed again. But you can actually, you actually should have no problem firing and moving at the same time, so try to do that. I think that's the only way that you can really conceivably get this done. Oh, stop moving so fast, Carmelita. Truthfully, this is it, it, this is a pain in the ass to play, and especially when this happens and you have to rotate all the way in the opposite direction because you're stuck against the wall. That doesn't help your chances either. But try to actually cut her off if you can. Like I, I think that's the mistake I made last time. Like go, you know, go a different route and see if you maybe you can catch her when she's coming to you. There you go. See ya. Oh, no. And then I missed my opportunity. There we go. Oh. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. That was damn close. I was about one shot. If I would have missed that last shot, wouldn't have gotten it. you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But for this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Alright, so now we have round two with the Contessa, which is really not too much harder than round one was. In fact, it's actually a little easier, I think, because uh, she'll... Oh, no. Oh, shh. I didn't know that she was going to save me. But, uh, it's actually a little bit easier, I think, because there will be times where she stands still to try to do this, like, mine attack. And the mine attack leaves her completely open. And it really is such a hard move for her to try to hit. And when you're far away, she'll still try to do her swipes. And if you fall off, she just saves you. So, really, not too bad. Um... Just as easy, if not easier, than the first time you have, you have to go against her. So, you should really have zero problem. And I believe that this is the final aspect of this really, really long mission. Oh yeah, she fell off. But, thankfully, she's a spider, so she can just climb back on. But one more little round of nailing her with our cane, and I believe that will be done. But she keeps on falling off. Stop falling off. You're actually prolonging the fight by falling off. Yeah. And even when she does it, it doesn't do anything. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. And finally, we're done. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Oh, man. So that was a pretty intense final mission. Probably the most intense final mission thus far. And, you know, it kind of makes you question where you're going to go for, from next. Because 
we kind of ended a big string of missions that connected pretty smoothly, you know. We went from Dimitri to Rajan, and then, you know, obviously through Rajan all the way through here. I mean, we had that big plot twist, but, I mean, even with, you know, even with the plot twist, everything moves smoothly, but it kind of seems like a, a, you know, a big part of the game is now done, which, of course, it is. But, thankfully, the best is still yet to come, because Chapter 6, or Episode 6 and 7 are two of my favorite in the whole game. And we'll start that next time. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros. And I'll see you guys all next time.